Hey internet, so today I'm going to be filming a video in collaboration with a bunch of other ladies that I'll put in the link below. And this is a Sweethearts Valentine's Day look. Uh, this is not Valentine's Day, I'm not filming it on Valentine's Day, but this is just a look that I wanted to do. Uh, so if you want to go check out their videos, uh, leave the playlist below. And if you want to see how I made this look, in all of its bright and shininess, go ahead and keep watching. So I'm not really sure what look I'm creating today, but I am going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette, uh, just because I haven't used it in a while and I thought it'd be fun. Um, so I'm just going to get right into it. So I'm going to be priming my eyes with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This one's pretty good. The only thing I don't like about it is it's um, not quite covering. It doesn't have a lot of pigment in it. I wish it did just because my... I'm so pale that there's a lot of veins in my eyes that don't get covered up, so. And please excuse how close I have to get to a mirror. I have very bad eyesight. So I have to get incredibly close to a mirror to be able to see if what I put on is fine. So I'm going to be trying not to block anything as much as possible. Alright, so first I'm going to set that with... This, this is the Wet n Wild something. I'm not sure, it doesn't say on here. I think it's like the large eyeshadow brush or something. Um, it was at the dollar store for a dollar and it's great for this. This is the only thing I use it for. It's just for setting my eye primer. And I'm using the shade of this palette, Rolling in Dough. Just because it's a good lighter shade to Complement my light skin. Alright. So, um, this is supposed to be a Valentine's Day collab. Now, I do have a, a boyfriend, a partner. Um, this will be our fifth Valentine's Day together. Um, we don't really celebrate it. I don't really think either of us care that much about Valentine's Day. Uh, we don't feel like we need a holiday to tell each other how much we love each other. Um, but, really quick, I'm using a ColourPop E2 brush here. It looks like there's pigment in it, but there isn't. I just used my Wet or Ulta Shadow Switching Pen. And I'm going to be going in with so bougie anyways so uh we don't see a lot of each other during the week because i am out of the house monday nights tuesday nights friday nights and all day on saturday with a few of my jobs and he is out of the house on thursday nights um playing basketball so we really only get to spend an evening together on wednesdays and on Sundays. So we figure since Valentine's Day is on a Sunday this year, we might as well, or no, it's on a Wednesday, sorry. It's on a Wednesday. We might as well take the opportunity to just spend some time together just because we don't get to do that a lot. And yeah, we probably won't go out just because restaurants on Valentine's Day are crazy. <laughs> but uh, maybe we'll get something nice to make it home and just spend some time not on our phones and computers and stuff like that. So this is what I look like so far. Just got a nice transition shade going in. And then I need to decide what I'm doing before I go much farther. I kind of want to use this chocolate gold shade up here and I kind of want to do a halo eye because I love that look but I'm I don't know what I want around it maybe I should just do like a super neutral using all these matte shades over here and then put the chocolate gold in the middle hmm usually when I make eye looks up I just kind of roll with it and figure it out along the way so I think I'm gonna try that so I'm gonna go in with a slightly denser blending bl brush. This is from e.l.f. It's the Blending Eye Brush. Make sure there's no pigment on that from the last time I used it. Alright, and I'm going to go in with 
Coco Truffle, which is the darker brown shade in this. Let's see how that looks. I really like this palette, but I've only used it once or twice just because I have so many eyeshadow palettes and I'm usually not going for browns just because they kind of bore me a little bit. But it's beautiful and it's super blendable and super easy to work with, so I figured I'd use it for this one to get some use out of it. Plus I know it's got some really pretty metallic shades in it and I love a metallic shade. Hmm. Looks pretty good so far. Yeah. Alright. Now's the big decision. Which one do we use? Let's see, I'm gonna go in with the, this guy right here. This is an e.l.f. 205. Just kind of a fluffier, but flatter. Fluffy and flat, and not too... No, I'm, I need to go into the sides first. So let me get this one. This is a Morphe M431. It's really nice and like a pencil brush. I usually use this for under the eyes, but I find it useful for right when I'm first going in for a halo eye because it's so concentrated. Um, it's easier to not mess it up. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Hmm, do I want the gold here and the pink here? Pink here. I'm gonna go with pink. So I'm going in with the shade New Money, which is this like pinky, purpley, really pretty shade. So it's that one right there. I'm gonna put that right on the outside of my lid and on the inside. currently raining a lot out there, which is weird because it's February in New Hampshire and you'd think if something was falling from the sky it would be snow, but it's raining. There's no snow in the forecast at all, which is kind of a bummer because I really like snow, mostly because I uh, get days off and I don't have to shovel because I live in an apartment, so I think... I have never tried foiling a shadow before, but I think I'm gonna try and foil this because it's a little bit not doing what I want it to do. So I'm gonna go grab a spray and I'll be right back. All right, so for this, I'm just gonna be using the Milani Make It Last um, and hopefully this works. So I'm gonna load up my brush with it, with the pink, and I'm gonna spray it. Let's see how this works. Never foiled a shadow, so I don't really know what to expect. I mean, I guess it's more vibrant. Maybe it's hard to tell if there's already something down there, but it's alright. Just gonna bring this out a little bit. So, the last time I tried to do a get ready with me, I just, I recorded too much on my phone and uh, it just didn't save because my phone filled up and then it glitched and then the entire thing was deleted. <laughs> uh, which is a bummer because I, I had been planning it for a while. It was a first day of grad school, get ready with me, and it just disappeared. So this is the, the second one that I've tried. So I'm just loading that up again. I'm going to go in a little bit more. Um, and uh, so I'm hoping, I checked beforehand, I've got 10 gigabytes of space on my phone. Uh, so hopefully that'll be enough for this. I'm probably gonna finish my second eye off camera so that it doesn't get too long though. Cause I don't have any fancy editing software cause I don't have a Mac. Um, I didn't wanna pay any money to, um, to speed all this up so that it's not a super long video. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the chocolate gold right in the center 
we'll see how this looks. This palette is so sparkly. Ooh, that's nice. I don't think I'm gonna need to foil this. It's very shiny. Very nice. Yep, that's good. All right, so I'm gonna do that to my other eye and I'll be right back. All right, so this is what I did. I finished it and I also added a little bit from the My Little Pony ColourPop palette. I had a little bit of this darker purple in just to take along the top to help blend all that together. I think that's called Minty, if I'm getting that right. Either that or Sky Dancer. No, I think it's probably Minty um, from the My Little Pony palette. So that was good and now those are done. So I'm gonna really quick clean up underneath my eyes. So I use these um, CeraVe, CeraVe, I'm not really sure what they're called, uh, makeup wipes. And what I do is I take off a little bit. I usually cut them, in, or no, they're Cetaphil. Uh, I usually cut them in half or cut them into little tiny pieces uh, and then I'll take just the tiniest bit and clean up underneath my eyes just to catch any fallout that was there. I am not doing a full foundation look today because it's like 4 o'clock in the afternoon and I'm not going back outside today and I think my skin needs a little bit of a break from full face so I'm just gonna do my no foundation foundation look okay so what I do first is I use the Stilo One Step Correct, just because I think it helps break down some of my redness, and I just rub this in with my hands. It's really nice for hydrating, and uh, just kind of smooths things just just a little bit, just a tiny bit, not a ton. So I'm looking this here. All right, and then once that's in, I like to let it dry for a few minutes um, while I do my concealer. Uh, and if I was to be doing any other cream products, I would do those right now, but I'm not today. So I'm just gonna go in with my concealer, which right now I'm using, or today I'm using the Tarte Aqua Sealer, Rainforest with a C Concealer in Fair. I really like this, it's in a project pan. Um, for this year if you want to check out that video uh, it's really nice it's light and it's hydrating and it just does the trick it conceals and it stays all day so plus it's one of the few brands whose concealers go light enough to actually brighten underneath my eyes because I am so pale so I like that and I'm just using this little sponge from Real Techniques. These are for sure my favorite sponges. I actually ended up getting the Beauty Blender Mini in a double set from Sephora because uh, it was on sale and I was like, well, why not? Let me try it. And it was awful. It was horrible. It left like the, the, um, density of it was so open that it left little like pock marks all underneath my eyes and I tried it with different concealers. I tried it for like four days in a row and it was so bad I actually returned it and I really try not to return um, makeup or anything like that because I know that it just gets thrown away and I don't like to waste it but it was just so bad I was like I'm not and there was two of them so it's not even like I could you know use the one and then be done with it, if there, I would have had a second one. So I'm just bring this down a little bit farther. I like to take it all the way onto my nose and down and around my nose and then out underneath here. But my skin is pretty good right now, so I don't really feel the need to spot conceal necessarily. I just like to brighten up under my eyes so that I can put 
if I want to put darker colors underneath them, then it doesn't look crazy with that plus dark circles. Alright, so I'm just going to set this with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed. I, this is an end project pan and it is almost gone. I don't know if you can see that little tiny bit around the edges. Oh, okay. Um, but it's almost gone, so I'm, I'm really trying to use it up right now. Because uh, then that'll be out of my collection. I actually already have... I already have a backup <laughs> of it because I really like it. Um, it. It does the trick really well. So I'm using the e.l.f. blush brush. This is my favorite brush for getting right underneath my eyes with. So. I typically use either the Glossier Wouter for this or I use um, I've been trying one of the e.l.f. under eye setting powders. I've only tried it once. The packaging is super annoying. But I just like to make sure that whatever I'm putting under my eyes isn't going to darken it at all. Because even some translucent powders can be a little bit darkening. So, And then I'm going to powder the rest of my face with the same powder, but I'm going to use a much bigger brush. I'm going to use this Morphe No Name brush. It came in a set of 10 vegan brushes. It's fine. It's not anything special, but it does the trick. I think I might try and repress this just because it's so hard to get into those corners, but I'm trying to get as much out of it as I can before I do that. So we'll see. Maybe I can just work it out and make it happen. I'm just afraid I'm gonna like break it up and it's gonna all fall out and then it'll have been wasted. I don't think I would be able to count that as a true empty. comes the fun part because I love doing my cheek but I really have to have my glasses on for this or else I cannot because I can't do it super close or else I have no idea what's going on so put these on I'm sorry for any reflective quality and I do have to turn off this light over here so that I can because this is a um a mirror with a light on it but I won't be able to see my face in it with the light on because it just reflects my glasses. Um, yeah. Let me know if you have similar issues to me because I feel like I watch all these beauty YouTubers and no one ever mentions having to wear glasses and do your makeup and how rough that is. And I just I would like some help because it's frustrating. So for my cheek today, I'm going to be using the... Oh, oh no, oh no! Ah, oh, it's fine. The uh, the whole thing comes out. Did you know that? Yep, it all comes out. By the way, just so you know. So the benefit cheek parade. Um, that was fun. So I'm gonna be going in with Hula Light. I haven't used this in a while. The first few times I used it, it was a tiny bit patchy and hard to blend. So I'm hoping that it doesn't do that to me today. I don't have time to refilm this and so it's gonna be on camera no matter what but I guess that's the fun of a get ready with me you never really know what's gonna happen I don't always contour with a cool shade before I go in with a bronzer just because I feel like especially with my face shape and my glasses and my nose rings and just everything in my pale skin, it can sometimes be a bit much to have contour and bronzer on. Sometimes I'm just looking for a little bit more casual of a look where it's not super cut out. But I do like to warm up the face and just get it a little bit like I am alive. 
because I've been told that I look like a vampire or a ghost and you know just trying to avoid that kind of labeling so I think I'm gonna go in with the California blush just because it seems a little bit pinky and nicer than any of the other ones so we'll see I don't even know if I've used this yet Oh, and I'm using the Real Techniques blush brush. This is my favorite blush brush. All I have to do is just tap and then tap on my cheeks and it's so soft and fluffy. So that's a nice, that's a nice color. I think I have used this because I remember it came with like a gold overspray on it and I don't see that anymore on there. So I must have used it to get that off. a little bit on my nose once again just so I look a little bit more alive a little bit less deathly yeah all right and then I'm gonna go in with a highlight before I finish my uh, my under eyes up so I'm going to use this brush I got it in I think I got it in an ipsy it's SL Miss Glam L36. It's really pretty. It's got these little rhinestone things and it's sparkly and it's purple and stuff. So but I have a few brushes that are shaped like this that I usually use for my highlighter. Um, so today I'm going to be using two highlighters because it's not complete unless you're wearing at least two highlighters, maybe three. I wore three the other day. It's awesome. Um, but I'm going in first with ColourPop Spectatarian. I'm going to just use my finger for this. Tap that on there. Take it, I like to take it all the way down into the front of my cheek, just so I do glow a little bit from the front. Oh, in the camera that looks absolutely blinding. I swear it's just because I have a really bright light shining down on me. And because it's blinding. <laughs> that is, wow. That's what I like to look like. Although to be fair, I shine bright even without highlighter on because I have a very highly moisturizing skin regimen because I have dry skin. So after I put on my moisturizer, sometimes if I take a picture or something, it's just like, it looks like I'm wearing highlighter all over my face if I get the right amount of glare because it's just, it's everywhere. So tap it on the nose, a little bit there. A little bit there. Oh, it's a bit of a highlighter mustache. Yep. A little tiny bit down there. This is a great highlighter. You can't tell. Um, and then, as if that wasn't enough, I'm going to go in with the actual most blinding highlighter I have in my collection, which is Ofra's uh, Glazed Donut from the NYX Tutorials collection because this one wasn't enough. I'm just gonna put that right to the very top of my cheekbones. This is one of my favorite things to do with any highlighter. I'll do this on top of anything. Um, to just pop this right on the tops. So you might think that's too much, but you know what? This is not your tutorial, so it doesn't matter because it's my face and I'm gonna put a ton of highlighter on it if I wanna put a ton of highlighter on it, so. All right, I'm going to finish underneath my eyes. And I was toying with the idea of doing some sort of strange non what I already have on there color, but I think I'm just gonna stick with what's already on there just because I think it'll be good that way or it'll be, it'll make sense that way. So first I'm gonna lay down this, I'm gonna turn this light back on. I'm gonna lay down this Golden NYX Professional Makeup Slide On Glide On Stay On uh, Eyeliner in Glitzy Gold. Let's just set a base. So I'm gonna put that gold across the entire bottom. So I'm putting that under my lash line. As well as on my lower lash line. Uh, on my waterline, that is. All right, to the other side. Put it 
not realize how hard it would be to maintain a conversation with myself for however long I've been doing this right now. That's what that looks like um and then i'm just gonna lay down some of that same chocolate gold eyeshadow on top of that just to really kind of almost just set it so i'm gonna be using this morphe m408 brush which is this little kind of flat smudge brush that's really nice i have two of these actually and i use it all the time for my under eyes I suppose that this is a Valentine's Day, I should talk a little bit more about my Valentine. Uh, I know some people are like, oh, you gotta look nice for your, your Valentine or your boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever. But I live a blessed life. My boyfriend does not care. He, he thinks I'm cute when I look like this. He thinks I'm cute when I look like trash he thinks I'm cute when I'm wearing black lipstick and crazy bright blue eyeshadow like he doesn't care so um that's why I'm not really <laughs> going off of anything that he has asked for just because I he, he likes me in whatever I feel like putting on my face so which is really nice because I don't think we would have lasted this long if he didn't I don't do well at taking direction from people on how I should look. So I'm putting dripping diamonds right in my waterline, or not my waterline, right in my inner corner. It doesn't quite fit the color scheme, but you know what? Once again, it's my face, and uh, I don't care, so I'm gonna do it. We know who's get ready with me and just like makeup videos in general that I have been loving lately. Uh, Robbie Beauty Christie is so funny. I actually cry laughing when I'm watching her because she is so funny and real and just the things that come out of her mouth make me so happy. Um, her language is wonderful. She has a great use of the English language and I highly recommend you check it out if you like colorful language. Um, eh, I'm not even going to color in my eyebrows. I don't usually do my eyebrows. or do, I don't always. I don't know if it's usual or not. I just, I have really long kind of thick eyebrows so usually I'll just kind of comb through them and then put a gel in them because why not. But this is the NYX Control Freak. I also have the ColourPop one, um, but I find that to be a little bit more waxy, and this is just kind of like, it just dries and it feels, feels like it just holds it better. With my long eyebrow hairs, that's kind of more what I'm going for, is just a straight up hold as opposed to a suggestion of a hold, which is what I feel like the ColourPop one gives me. But anyway, so I, I've been kind of, a little bit frustrated because I wanted to, you know, I, if you know me in person, outside of any of my roles as an educator, um, I like to speak my mind, but I am currently in a master's program to be a teacher, and I know, and I have enough teacher friends to know that parents and administrators and everyone will find anything you put online and you know could possibly use it against you or not use it against you but it could not go in your favor so I feel like I need to be a little bit more censored just so it doesn't come back to bite me in the butt because I wanted to say the F word on my channel so let me know if you, if you make videos and you have those feelings where you're kind of like oh you know I want to say this but I'm kind of worried about it getting out to certain people or whatever, just because I feel like, I don't know, I, I wouldn't want to 
go in for a job interview and have them be like, well, you put these videos online and you were saying all this stuff, so we're not going to give you this job because you don't think you're a good role model. You know what I mean? I don't know if you know what I mean because you're not here. I'm just me sitting in front of a mirror and a camera just talking to myself because that's, that's normal. All right, I'm going to try and put a wing on this and uh, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. But I am gonna use this side mirror just because I need both my hands, so. Sorry if you can't really see. So I'm using the NYX Epic Ink Liner. This is my ride or die liquid liner. I find it so easy to use and so long lasting and so perfectly black. I have repurchased this multiple times. I already have a backup. I will continue to repurchase this for as long as I feel like doing liquid eyeliner in my life. I do not know what I would do if they discontinued it. I'd probably just have to buy out the entire stock at every store I came to. Just because I don't ever want to have to do liquid eyeliner with another eyeliner than this. I may sound dramatic, but <laughs> if you wear liquid eyeliner or do wings and you have a holy grail eyeliner, you probably know what I'm talking about because once you find that eyeliner that is amazing for you, you never ever want to let it go. That's this is my true Valentine, is this eyeliner right here. It's, I don't need anything else. I just need that eyeliner. So I feel like I'm forgetting something. I know I need to put mascara on. And lip stuff. Alright, which is still in the other room, so I'll be back. All right, so first what I'm gonna do before I put on my mascara is I'm gonna spray my face with the Pixi Glow Mist. I love this stuff. I find that it just melts all of the powders into my skin and keeps me moisturized throughout the day, which New Hampshire in, uh, in the wintertime gets very cold and very dry, and I already have dry skin, so I've found this to be very helpful for me not to be feeling like my skin is getting super dry throughout the day. Just because a lot of times I wear my makeup from 6.30 in the morning until 9 o'clock at night. So, I have not had an issue yet where I feel like I'm just getting super tight in the face, which is nice. Alright, um, mascara first. This is the Pacifica Dream Big Mascara. Um, I'm kind of a little bit indifferent about this at this point. I think it's just getting old. I don't know how anybody manages to finish a mascara before it gets gross. I just don't get it. But I bought it because um, Rianne from, I think it's like Wife Life or Rianne HY, uh, said this was her holy grail and I thought I'd try it because I'd never had any Trident Pacifica mascaras and it went on sale one time. And what I like about it, and what I thought was cool, is there's this twisty thing at the end that you can twist it and it sh brings it together, which makes it better for volume. And then you can twist it again and it spreads it back out to be better for length. Um, which I thought, I just thought that was cool, you know. But, I don't know, I'm just kind of getting tired of it. I have a ton of mascaras and backup right now that I want to use. But this isn't a, a project pan, so I feel like I need to give it to the absolute end of it being at least manageable before I give up on it. But I don't think that I'll ever be able to use this up completely. Right? Try. See, because also I tr I try and do the like the volumizer thing where it's closer together. I don't feel like it does anything different than having it spread out, but I still do it just because it's fun and you know it should be fun, right? That's the whole reason I do makeup. I don't do makeup because I feel like I need to look a certain way to be seen. 
We make it because it's fun. And I like putting stuff on my face and trying different colors and all of that. Especially when I'm wearing all black, which I prefer to try and do as much as possible. Um, having crazy colors on my face and also in my hair, my, you know, it kind of helps balance it out a little bit. So, uh, one thing I do not do is I do not curl my eyelashes. I've tried to curl my eyelashes, but they're already pretty curly. They go straight up anyways, and I tried curling it, and I legitimately could not tell the difference between one side and the other, so I just don't do it. Um, which I guess is a good thing, because it's... I know a lot of people's least favorite step is curling their eyelashes, so I suppose the fact that I don't have to is a benefit. Oh no, I just felt my eyelashes touch underneath my eyes. See, this is the one problem with having curly eyelashes, though, is all I have to do is smile and it just touches because it's just lower lashes are straight down. So I'm going to let that dry and I'll scrape it off with my spoolie, but I brought over some lip products to try and figure out what I wanted to put on the lips. So first I have the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in Aftershock. See how this swatches? That's how that looks. I'm going to swatch all these, but I do, I'm going to need to put on my glasses to, um, to actually see up next to my face how they look. Uh, the next is Pretty Vulgar. My lips are sealed. Lip lipstick and particularly sophisticated. That's what that looks like. I love Pretty Vulgar's packaging. I got this in a um, a boxy charm. Worn it a couple times. It's like a metallic-y, shimmery one. Really super pretty. So that that's kind of at the top of my list right now. And then I have this Too Faced Melted Lipstick in Chihuahua. I tried this for the first time on Thursday, actually. So the outside looks pretty pink, but it's actually quite nude of a color. So this could be a good, more neutral shade. And the last one, if I really want to get crazy, is Ofra's Versailles, which is a gold. Quick story, um, I actually was in Paris some years ago and I went to Versailles and I completely fell in love with it. It is the most beautiful place I've ever been to. I could spend weeks there and not get tired of it. So that's what that looks like. A little bit more sheer, um, definitely more shiny, but that could be fun. So I'm gonna put on my glasses, see how these look next to my face from a little bit farther away. Turn off this light again. All right. see here. Kind of leaning towards the uh, the pretty vulgar one. I think that would just look really nice. So I'm going to put that on. Lips are probably the thing I struggle with the most because I have pretty small lips. Sometimes I find it hard to stay in the lines or just to make the lines clean looking you know I pretty much never wear lip liners which is silly because I have a bunch of them but I just don't looking so far. Sorry that I'm here. Let me move this so that I'm a little bit more in frame for this. This is sheerer than I remember. I think that's fine.
All right, so that's the look. Now I will be wearing something completely different for actual Valentine's Day, but this is a look I think you could wear if you liked these colors for Valentine's Day. So let me know what you think. This is a little bit haphazard of a, of a get ready with me, just in terms of I am not the best conversationalist in the world to begin with, and then add to it that there's no one on the other side of the conversation. It was a little bit tougher than I had thought it would be. So let me know if you liked anything you saw, and feel free to follow me. I do post new videos semi-regularly, and yeah, hope you're having a wonderful Valentine's Day, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye!